Hello there, fellows. It's time for chapter 8 of Deadly Creatures Echoes, starring the Scorpion. Yeah, I tend to like the Scorpion chapters better, because they're more straightforward and require less obnoxious platforming. Holy crap! That was too close for comfort. Holy crap, it's the Gila Monster again! Run, Scorpion! Run! Hey, I hit something. I got a handle. I got it! Good God, there's a dead lizard down there! Well, where else should it be? There you go, baby. Come to Daddy. Woohoo! Here, let me see that. Alright, they stabbed the Gila Monster with the shovel and now it's dead, so... Those two nincompoops saved the scorpion's life. How much you think's in here, anyway? Enough. <laughs> Just not enough. Ah! Ah! Uh, jeez. I guess that startled some of you. And yeah, that was the knocked out guy's hand. So, well at least we're out from under the ground and... Back to cutting grass, because that's what all scorpions do in their free time. They cut grass to earn petty change in which, with which to buy bug food. Aw oh man, more grass, seriously? I wonder if we get like a new platforming related ability in this chapter. And mites, get off me. I don't like them. Alright. That knocked out guy sure got lucky that the scorpion didn't like decide to sting him because I'm pretty sure scorpions are somewhat aggressive creatures. I mean, I don't think they run away from fights that much. They just, like, go straight at it. Man, more cutting grass. Why do we have to do that all the time and not just, like, dig? What's that over there? Ah, crap, rats. And loading in the middle of combat again. That's not really helpful. I mean, I was just getting into my combat groove. Pounding some rats into the corner. Alright, come here, you... Just do a little scissor slamming action. And he'll be dead in no time. Not even giving him an opening to counterattack. Alrighty. Oh hey, we need to dig again. Guess the developers haven't forgotten about that. And apparently there were mites hidden in that part of the wall. Intriguing. Alright. What's around this bend? Enemies, more grass to cut. Yeah, grass to cut. There's always grass to cut. And all that to get one measly grub. Is that really worth it? Oh well. What are these, like, little action figures? Are we, like, in a toy junkyard now? With more rats? Well, I guess we're really close to the spider, then. I mean, we saw the uh, the one guy knock the other guy out cold with the shovel, like from below, and the spider was like looking at the same scene from a little distance, so I guess we're getting closer to the spider. We're getting closer to their ultimate confrontation. Who is the ultimate creepy crawly people don't want to find in their shoes in the morning? The spider or the scorpion? Personally... I wouldn't want to find the scorpion in my shoes in the morning because, let's face it, scorpions are, like, more likely to be painful to you than spiders. First of all, I'm pretty sure scorpions have, like, strong, hard shells. Spiders, they're just, like, or at least the tarantula, they're just furry. So... I imagine stepping on a tarantula kind of feels like stepping on something hairy, like a doormat or something. And I guess stepping on a scorpion would perhaps feel like stepping on a on a floor tile or something. Something hard and crunchy. And then the scorpion pretty much, it has sharp claws, poison stinger. What does a spider have? 
or tarantulas, they pretty much only have poison jaws, and they're most, most of the time, they, tarantulas aren't venomous enough to really kill humans, whereas scorpions, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of scorpion species that are venomous enough to kill humans. So, yeah, I'd prefer to get a tarantula in my shoe if I had to choose between the two of them. Which one would you prefer to find in your shoe in the morning? I'm pretty sure neither of them, but if you had to pick one. Post it in the comments. And I'm really starting to sound like freaking Ray William Johnson getting... Ugh, okay, that's a baby doll head. For a moment there, I actually thought that was a person. Reach the culvert. What the hell's a culvert? I mean, I know I'm not a native speaker of English, but I have really never heard of the bloody word culvert. If any of you have heard of the word culvert, post so in the comments. And I'm really feeling like freaking Ray William Johnson now. Although I wish he had a subscriber count, I mean, damn. Alright. Huh. Where are we? Holy crap. Ah, oh, no, not this again. Oh, I hated it when we had to do it with the tarantula, and I'm not gonna like it now. Although the scorpion can probably make short work of those freaking black widows. I mean, the scorpion's the stronger of the two between scorpion and tarantula, so if tarantula could butcher these guys, so can the scorpion. And again, how many webs did these things make? Damn. How do they get all that web out of that tiny little behind of theirs? And yeah, there's a whole bunch of them, but a little tail strike deals with them just fine. Knocks them all around. Come on, you eight-legged pieces of shit. Although, technically, I'm also eight-legged, so I shouldn't speak. But the scorpion also has two arms, so technically he has ten limbs, as opposed to eight. And I should, like, count this, the Black Widow's, like, little tiny arm thingies it has near its mouth. Or are those, like, just its, its lips or something? Something like that, I reckon. Alright, I'm pretty sure there... Oh no, there's still one more. Now he's dead. Okay, I reckon that's all of them. And Help Arrow sends us up here, so that's where we shall go. Patrolling through some kind of cave again. Make your way back up to the surface. Yeah, the bloody spiders caused us to go underground again. I'd be pissed off as I, if I were the scorpion. I'd also be pissed off at all this grass I need to cut out of my path. I mean, get a bloody lawnmower. Ah, crap, rival scorpions. Yay, gang war. It's the yellows against the blacks. That's racist. I'm gonna get flamed for that, aren't I? But come on, deep down inside, everyone thinks racist jokes are funny. I mean, if there were no racist jokes, then like half of the comedians would be out of jobs. Okay, let's see how we finish. Ah, crap, I screwed up. Okay, take two. Swing the nunchuck, knock them off their feet, stab him in the gut. That was kind of disappointing. I was like expecting stuff to get ripped off. Like, chopping off its tail or whatever. Or its arms. I mean, Scorpion, I thought you played God of War and learned how to do awesome fatalities, but no. Well, the one you do on the Praying Mantis is still pretty awesome. Alright. Oh man, more grass. Really. And mites. There's always mites in the grass. Guess that's a good place for them tiny buggers to hide. Okay, going up. Vertical wall climbing action. I so hope there's... Wait, why the hell is there a hook hanging from the ceiling? And where are there spiders? And why do they fall down? That's gravity, kids. 
You'll learn all about it in school, I reckon. I know I did, but I didn't really pay attention in physics because it did not interest me in any way. I was just pretty much all drawing doodles in my like workbooks and all pretty much the entire time during physics. Also, playing cards. Yeah, how I miss high school where I always used to play cards with my friends in recess. Eh, uh, well, I can still play cards with myself now. At home because I don't have to go to college anymore because I quit it. Yeah, didn't think it was fun. So I quit. I mean, why stay there for another four months when I'm not liking it? That's just counterintuitive now, is it? No, by quitting I can get more free time to do LPs. I can work more, earn more money, buy more games, which results in more LPs. So it's better for you guys, so you should be happy. I mean, hell, I went all the way to bloody Venlo to pick up three new games yesterday. I had to ride the train and all. And oh the hardships. I was gonna pick up a game that I'm pretty sure you guys will like. Because it's from the same series as one of the most requested games on this channel. Which I will probably do in the future sometime. And the one I bought yesterday. But yeah, let's just say it's a PS2 game. And... They only had it in that game store in Venlo. So I went there and I searched the PS2 like shelves, which were freaking massive. There were like eight rows of five or six games a piece. No, no, wait, there was like 20 rows. Yeah. So I searched through those three times because I couldn't find it and it just felt like double checking and all and there also was this big like one cubic meter box which was filled with like budget PS2 games and stuff and because I couldn't find it in the shelves I figured it must be in there so I took that uh, that cubic meter box I pretty much pulled out every game that was in it I made like a huge ass stack of PS2 games in the middle of the freaking store just to like find it it wasn't there either guess where it was on the shelves was like 20 rows of four or five six games apiece there also were like seven or eight games stashed away on some tiny holes in the side of that whole shelf and I have not... That was like all the way in the back of the store and I hadn't seen it because there was also like... The PSP and PS3 games were... Between the PS2 games and the end of the shelf so I didn't look there. I was like... Where the hell is that game? I'm gonna ask the guy behind the counter. Maybe he knows. And I walk there, I turn around. And there it is. I did not have to search through the shelves three times. I did not have to empty the entire freaking box of PS2 games. It was sitting right there all along. I felt like such an idiot then. Luckily, I hadn't asked the uh, guy behind the register yet where it was. Because it was right in plain sight from where he was standing. Man, I would have been so humiliated if I asked him to like help me find it. And then he would probably just be like, Oh dude, turn around, it's right behind you. And then I'd f really feel like an idiot. But I got that game. I also got two other ones. Which I'm sure I will LP eventually. Though I gotta play him first. And yeah, we'll see about that. One of them is like the game based on a movie that I absolutely loved to death uh, when I was a kid. It's a movie from the year 2000. And they have an attraction based on it in uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Florida. So yeah, maybe that's a little hint there. <laughs> and I'm not going to fight that spider, I'm just going to crawl away. 
And I don't know why, but I feel like we're in some kind of house now. I mean, we're walking on what appear to be sewage pipes. Yeah, I'm sure this is like some kind of house. Oh, hey, the adventure goal is complete. We're apparently back up to the surface, but we're still... Like, this kind of looks like a boiler or something with steam leaking out of it. Oh, well. Anyways, as you can... Wait, what's that? Not sure, I want to know, it looks like garbage. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next part of Deadly Creatures. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.